So feel free to spread out, grab a seat, make yourself comfortable. If this is your first time joining us, this is Greenhouse, Circuit Riders House of Prayer. We just want to welcome you to the family. We're going to go after God tonight, and he is going to blow our minds with his goodness. This week, we've been really diving into the love and mercy of God as a community. So we're going to continue in the spirit of that tonight. We're going to start out with some worship, really just lifting up the name of Jesus, thanking him for who he is. And then we're going to dive into some intercession points. For those of you who don't know, as circuit riders, we have missionaries all across the globe right now, preaching the gospel, healing the sick, really just representing Jesus all across the world. So we're gonna cover our teams, cover our friends and family, and we're just gonna go after the Lord. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your rich mercy. We thank you for who you are, God. And we just welcome you tonight, Lord, to do whatever you wanna do. We just declare that your nature is worthy and good and full of love. And Lord, we just pray tonight as friends and family, Lord, we just pray tonight that you would give us a fresh revelation of the person of Jesus. We pray for a revelation of the gospel to pierce our hearts tonight, God. We pray that we would understand the richness of your great mercy, Lord. We just welcome your spirit here tonight, Lord. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for who you are, Jesus. We thank you for who you are and we just wait upon you. You're worthy to be praised. We honor you, Jesus. And we just boldly ask God that tonight you would heal people's bodies. And we ask God that you would save souls. And our friends and family that don't know you yet, we pray that they would come home to you, God. And we pray that you would have your hand upon our teams. In Jesus' name, we honor you, Lord. Amen.
No, he's not. 
but he's never given up. Yeah, he's never given up. He's never given up on me. He's never given up. Come on, he's never given up. He's never given up on you. I can hear the Father say, I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on you. Yeah, come on, bring it down. He's never giving up. I hear him. I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on you. I can hear the Father say, I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on you. I can hear him say tonight, I'm never giving up. Come on. I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on you. Don't you worry. I'm never giving up.
on, sing it over yourself. He's never given up. He's never given up. Yeah. He's never given up on me. He's never given up. He's never given up. He's never given up on me. I'm reminded of the prodigal son who wasted all of his inheritance. He thought his father was gonna be so mad at him Oh, I can see the prodigal son running home Running home and he was worried He was worried what his father would do And his father would say Oh, but the father he ran off of his porch with a ring and a robe and he threw it over the sun and he said, welcome home, my son. Welcome home, my son. Oh, and the joy of the Father began to melt, melt all the insecurities away. Oh, the joy of the Father melts the insecurities away. God, we feel your joy bubble up. It's the joy of the Lord. It's the joy of the Lord. It's the joy of the Father. closed if we can let can we just raise our hands to heaven tonight and just with your own with your own language just tell the Lord thank you for your love thank you for encountering me with your love that I never deserved thank you just for a few moments can we do it on the count of three one two three God we thank you for your love we thank you for encountering with us a love God that we never deserved Thank you, God, for searching us down, for chasing us down. It's the love of the Father. We receive the love of the Father tonight. We receive the love of the Father. You've never given up on me. Yeah, sing it.
the joy of the Lord. I can feel the joy bubble up. I can feel the joy of the Lord. I can feel the joy bubble up. Yeah. And sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. I don't care if you don't feel joy, he's a joyful king. Hey, sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Over Gen Z, over generation. Come on, we're gonna sing this. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Hey, hey, he's a joyful king. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth. Sometimes you gotta sing your way into the truth.
pause in my stomach because God's goodness is in the room. Amen. We're going to keep on in the spirit of this and wherever the band leads us, but I just feel this scripture so strongly. I think it's something that God wants to invite us into right now. Psalm 107 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His love endures forever. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. Whoever is wise, let him heed these things and consider the great love of the Lord to consider the great love of the Lord. So wherever you are right now, whether you're watching online or you're in this room, let's all just erupt with a thanksgiving to Jesus, thanking Him for His faithfulness in our lives, thanking Him for plucking us out of darkness, thanking Him for His great and rich mercy over us, the requirement to come into His presence, the requirement to receive salvation was perfection and it was something we could never do. But Jesus, but Jesus lived the perfect life. He is the gateway into this joy. He is the gateway into this freedom. So let's all just erupt in radical thanksgiving for this great and rich mercy. Lord, we just lift your name. We thank you, God, for the love and mercy that you poured out on us, God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that paid the price for our sin that we could never pay. We thank you for the joy of the Lord. We thank you that our circumstances don't dictate how we have to feel because the joy of the Lord is our strength. God, we thank you for the truth of your word. We thank you for the power of the gospel, the power to set us free, the power to deliver, the power to heal. God, we thank you for the mercy that you've poured out on the earth. Thank you for the mercy you've poured out on my life and my family. Thank you for the mercy you've poured out on every person watching right now. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all just open our hands as if you're receiving a gift. If you've never done this before, it's just an expression of saying, you know what, Lord, I want everything you have for me. Lord, we receive a revelation of your mercy. And with it, God, we receive the tremendous joy that comes with knowing that you're never giving up on us, with knowing that you've already paid the price and where we stand is secure in Jesus. We receive that revelation tonight, God, and we just ask that you would continue to pour out. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna continue on in worship. And as a community, we really believe in the power of intercession and worship and prayer and praise going together. There's something that happens. So we're going to continue on. But I also want to encourage you, if this is your first time here and you need prayer for anything, literally just ask anyone if they're willing and they will pray for you. We believe in a God that has power and He will break into your life. So let's just continue on. Thank you, Jesus.
Just come and consume us, Lord. You're all that we want.
on. Let's keep singing that out. Jesus, this is our heart cry. Let us fall more in love with you. Let us fall more in love with you. Let us fall more in love with you. you. Consume whatever you have to. Just let us fall deeper, deeper still. says, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I believe shame and guilt is going to fall off of Southern California. There is a lie that even our mistakes could keep us from the love of God. But while we were still sinners, Jesus came and died for us. He died for all of our sins back then, and all of us were in the future the day that He died. Our past, our present, our future cannot separate us from the love of God that is in Christ. So I want to do something right now. We are going to pray not only for Southern California, but for our family in this room and online. 
for a revelation of this great love of God. How high, how deep, how wide. If you've never prayed out loud before, I promise it's not awkward when everyone does it. So I'm just gonna encourage everyone in this room to lift up your voice. Let's pray for a revelation and a baptism of love for Southern California and our family here in the greenhouse. On the count of three, let's go. One, two, three. Lord Jesus, we just pray for a revelation of the love of God to break chains of shame, to break chains of depression, to break chains of condemnation. We pray for a revelation of this love that can never, ever, ever leave us. We pray for a revelation that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Yeah, come on, let's keep stirring it up. God, we pray for this love to pour out over Southern California. We pray for this love to pour out over America, God. We pray that these grips of shame and condemnation, the grips of mistakes, the grips of depression, the grips of sickness, nothing can separate us from the love of God not one thing God we pray for this revelation to pour out like never before we thank you God that you always answer prayer (laughs) yeah let's sing that out would you reveal how high how deep how wide is love 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 would you reveal here but we're also going to transition a little bit into a deeper intercession for those of us that are on the road right now we have tour teams all across America about to go to Europe we have people in Africa preaching the gospel praying for the sick it's really incredible the way that God is spreading this message like wildfire but we just want to cover those teams and in this revelation of the love of God we really want to cry out for souls to be saved. 2 Corinthians 4 says, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, 
who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord. With ourselves as, as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The devil veils the eyes of the unbelievers. So we're gonna pray for a breakthrough that the veils would be ripped away and people would see Jesus. We're praying for open eyes and hearts for the gospel. We are praying for Gen Z, high schools and colleges. We're praying for whole communities. We're praying for nations. So let's all just lift our voices and cry out that this veil would be broken off the eyes of unbelievers, that the gospel of Jesus Christ would break through like never before. We're praying for mass salvation. Let's all just engage and lift our voices. God, we do, we just agree right now in the name of Jesus for the veil to be lifted off the eyes of the unbelievers. We cover our teams on the road right now, God, and we pray that the gospel would shine like light in the darkness. We pray for the veil to be torn off the eyes of the unbelievers. We pray for souls to be saved. God, we're asking for Gen Z. We're asking for high schools. We're asking for colleges. We're asking for entire communities, for families, for lost friends. We're asking for nations, God. Would you rip the veil off the unbelievers to see the gospel, to see Jesus Christ for who he is, God. We cry out, pour out salvation, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. All right, guys, we're also gonna pray for fresh impartation to preach the gospel. How many of you know we need some extra boldness sometimes to preach the word of God? <laughs> so we're gonna pray for a fresh fire to touch every circuit rider on tour. We're praying for fresh zeal for students across the country and a fresh courage to preach the gospel, boldness. So boldness, courage. We're praying for a fresh impartation of the Holy Spirit that gives us courage and boldness to preach the, to preach the truth. So let's just go 30 seconds on that, God. We just ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for this fresh impartation of boldness and zeal to preach the gospel with clarity. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would lead our teams to those who are, who are broken, who are lost, who are lonely. We pray that you would encounter people in grocery stores, in gas stations, on campuses. We are asking, God, that you would give people the boldness to preach the gospel to their lost family members, Lord. We are asking for this boldness of the Holy Spirit to fill every circuit rider and even every believer that's preaching the gospel right now. In Jesus' name. All right, we're gonna go one more and then we're gonna keep worshiping. We're gonna pray that light would shine out of darkness. And what does that mean? Light shining out of darkness means that everything that God is comes forward and all darkness that belongs with the devil leaves. That means sicknesses. That means people being bound by shame, bound by addictions, bound by sickness and depression. We're gonna pray that light shines out of darkness. Let's go 30 seconds on that. Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus that your light would shine in the darkness, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We command the chains the chains to fall off of every person bound by the enemy. In Jesus' name, we pray that the light of the truth of who Jesus is, the kingdom of God to break in everywhere that our tour teams go, everywhere that everybody in here and online goes, in Jesus' name, and we pray coupled with that boldness that we would see a move of your spirit like never before. We thank you, Lord. Let's worship. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Shine your glory. Let it shine in the darkness. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Let it shine in the darkness. Show us your glory. Let it pierce every heart. Show us your glory. Yeah. Show us your glory. Show them. 
them your glory just like Saul show them your glory show them your glory oh just like Saul would you turn them to Paul oh show them your glory Just like Saul, would you turn them to Paul? Open up their eyes, let them see how you see. Just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Open up their eyes, let them see how you see. Just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Open up their eyes, let them see how you see. Just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Open up their eyes, let them see how you see. Just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Open up their eyes, let them see how you. Oh, just like Saul, would you turn to Paul? Open up their eyes, let them see how you see. Just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Open up their eyes, let them see how you Oh, just like Saul, turn them to Paul. Oh, and show them.
let it be with them. Oh, come on, let revival start in houses. Let revival start in our houses, Father. Let it be in our families. Let it be in our families, God. Oh, yeah, let it be in families. Like the waters cover. they were singing that out I saw a picture of like kitchen tables you know how everybody kind of gathers around and usually talks for a really long time I saw this picture of like the Lord pouring out his goodness at the table and that sounds kind of I know a little abstract but what I was seeing was like the woman at the well had a divine conversation with Jesus and he revealed himself to her and she revealed who Jesus was to the entire city she was the first missionary I think ever. But I saw God doing the same thing with divine conversations at like kitchen tables. And so I just wanna cry out for these divine conversations like woman at the well kind of encounters, whether it be around a table or in living rooms or at gas stations or at grocery stores or doctor's offices or campuses or high schools or TikTok. <laughs> Let's cry out for these divine conversations yes, and that Lord. God would really reveal himself. Reveal himself with encounter, you know? Like there's nothing about, there's nothing like encountering God. Amen? Yes, so let's go 30 seconds on this and just ask for those divine conversations. Lord, we just cover every team out there right now and we just ask even for ourselves and for our family members, God, that you would pour out the revelation of your love at common places, God. We pray that you would make common places uncommon encounter places in Jesus' name. We pray, we pray for the revelation of the gospel to hit our families. We pray for a revelation of the gospel for those host homes who so graciously host our teams every year. We pray, God, that you would lead each of us, everybody listening online, all of our teams across the earth, that you would lead each one of us into those divine conversations that change destinies forever, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. And even right now, 
How many of you know somebody who's unsaved? And if you're online, you can raise your hand by faith. Let's pray for those people by name. And if there's anything actionable that we can do to preach the gospel to them or to love them or to pray for them, let's, let's commit to doing that. Let's pray for each person by name that God would encounter them with his love. Lord, we just pray for those lost family members, lost friends in Jesus' name. God, we cover each one, every person who raised their hand that knows someone who's lost God. We just cover them right now and we ask God that you would give them faith to believe in your son. We pray for faith to hit America, faith to hit the nations, God. We pray that you would draw all men unto yourself in Jesus' name. We pray for this revelation of the gospel to hit our families, God. Bring lost family members home in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's also pray one more thing. Let's pray for the revival of evangelism to cross the country and across Europe as our teams are going out right now. But even beyond that, let's just cry out for a revival of evangelism. Yes. If you don't know what evangelism is, it basically means just to carry the good news that Jesus paid it all to everyone, all creation. We carry this message. So let's pray right now. Let's go, let's go a minute on this. Let's just cry out for a revival of evangelism that every believer would rise up and preach the gospel. In Jesus' name, we are asking that the power of your Holy Spirit would fill every believer, would fill all of our Carry the Love teams, Lord, would fill all his team. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that a revival of evangelism, a revival of spreading the good news would flood the earth in Jesus' name. Every nation coming home to Jesus. Every person, all of creation hearing the gospel and having the opportunity to choose Jesus for themselves. God, we are praying for a radical boldness, a radical courage, a radical selflessness to rise up and preach the gospel in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Oh, send your fire, your revival fire, Lord. Oh, send your fire. with heaven the spirit in the bride say come the spirit in the bride say come oh lord we're asking we're asking lord we're knocking the spirit in the bride say come the spirit in the bride say come let's sing that again we have this petition with heaven with heaven the spirit in the bride say come the spirit in the bride say come oh lord we're asking lord. we're asking and we're knocking the spirit in the bride say come the spirit in the bride say
place too in Jesus name as they were singing this out I was reminded of Psalm 103 and this is one of my favorite I mean the whole Bible is my favorite but if you don't know Psalm 103 this is a good one to memorize it says bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with, the, with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. And as they were singing about the fire of God, if you don't understand what that is, I know sometimes it can be funny to sing about setting us on fire because no one wants to die, you know? But the fire of God is a representation of His Spirit filling us. And what happens when the Spirit of God fills us is it purges, it gets rid of darkness, it convicts us of our righteousness and it convicts us of our sin. The Holy Spirit is the very Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead and now He has made His home in us. This is what we talk about when we say we will never be separated from the love of God because He poured out His Spirit in His people that we would forever be in His family. We are secure, we are secure. So as I was reading that verse, I was thinking, oh my goodness, let's not forget everything that comes with the Holy Spirit, the very person that is here to do everything that Jesus would do if he were here in this room. So right now, I just wanted to ask that God would pour out his spirit in this place and on the greenhouse and on our teams and in our families and in Southern California and America and the nations and all over the earth. Let's cry out for this Holy Spirit the Spirit of God, the fire of God, to come and consume everything that is not of His kingdom. And this includes anything hindering us. This includes anything that cannot be found in God's presence. So if you know someone who is sick or if you are sick yourself, we're gonna pray right now that the Holy Spirit would fill this place, that the Holy Spirit would fill the rooms of everyone watching online, that the Holy Spirit would fill our teams so that the kingdom of heaven can reign, that all sickness bows, mental illness bows, <laughs> loneliness bows, shame bows, guilt bows. Let's cry out right now, God, we just agree all together. Yes. We welcome you in your fullness, God, whatever that looks like. And we ask in the name of Jesus that your spirit would have your way here, God. We do pray for this fire that purges, this fire that, that consumes us. Yes. We pray that it would pour out on the nations of the earth, that it would pour out on the greenhouse, that it would pour out on our teams and our families and our friends, that it would pour out on us, God. We pray, Holy Spirit, fill us. Yes. Holy Spirit, fill us. Holy Spirit. We command all sickness to bow. We command mental illness to bow to the name of Jesus. Anxiety, bow, fear, bow. Spirit of religion, get out. In the name of Jesus, we command dry bones to come alive. We command dead bodies to come back to life. Dead souls, dead hearts to come back to life in the name of Jesus. This is the gospel that we are made alive in Christ. And Lord, we pray for the fullness of what you purchased on the cross to fill each one of us. We pray for a revelation of what you 
you paid for. To flood our families, to flood our teams, to flood campuses all across the earth, God. To flood the nations. Lord, we pray for a move of the Spirit like never before. We are asking for the thing that we wish to see, which is you, God. We pray that you would reign, that you would be exalted in America, be exalted in my life, be exalted in our families, be exalted in our relationships, be exalted on campuses, be exalted in the nations of the earth, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
have everyone stand in reverence to the Lord in this place. And you are holy. Every hand raised we sing. You are holy. You have our attention, Lord. Oh, you Praise you, oh, oh Lord. 
Let's just put thanks on our lips tonight. Begin to thank him for his presence in this place. We thank you. Oh, come on, don't be in a hurry to move. Don't be in a hurry to move. Thank you. Thank you, God. We honor your presence in this room tonight. God, we ask that you would intensify even more. Holy Spirit, would you intensify in this room? Would you show us our Father? Would you reveal our Father? Yeah, if you're in here tonight and you're hungry for more, begin to cry out for more. God, we cry for more of you. We know there's so much more of you. We know there's so much more of you that we haven't seen, that we haven't encountered. Pour out your presence upon your people. Pour out your presence upon your people. Pour out your presence as we lift our voice to your throne room. We come confident. We come with confidence. We come with confidence. Yeah, just breathe in his presence. Just take a deep breath of his presence. Get used to being in his presence. This is what you were made for. You were made to breathe in his presence. pray in the spirit just begin to pray in the spirit sing in the spirit
I pray that you would open up ears in this place to hear the sounds of heaven. Open up our ears, God, to hear the sounds of heaven tonight. The sounds of heaven. Let it be released through Orange County, the sounds of heaven. something normal. We don't want something normal. We don't want something normal. Yeah, come on. Come on, press in. Keep knocking. Keep knocking.
Yeah, if we can just sit in silence just for a few moments. Holy is the Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you for your presence, God. Thank you, Jesus. We don't want to be too quick to leave, God. We love you, Lord. We thank you for how you come. You always come. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, guys, there's no easy way to leave something like this. If you're having an encounter with the Lord, please don't rush out of it. But we are going to end the live stream right now. We just want to thank everyone for joining us online and everyone for joining us in person. And we will see you on Monday night, I think. Confirm that later. <laughs> Bye, guys. As for... Oh.